Shalom Israel, this is Lyle Yahweh back with another video. I'm making this, you know, to state the premise on what it is to be a Hebrew. A Hebrew is an ethnicity, you know. We got Judaism, which is the religion. And when people convert to that, that doesn't make them an ethnic Hebrew. You know, they just converted to the religion because it's an ethnic religion. An ethnicity of people got the oracles of God which are the Jews, a.k.a. Hebrew Israelites. So anybody that's converted to the religion is just a follower of the religion, like the Ashkenazi Jews, Sephardic Jews, they Jewish, pertaining to Jews. That's why it's ish at the end, right? But we know Ashkenaz come out of Jaffa, so we know they're not a real Jew or a Hebrew because to be Hebrew is to be Negro. And let's start with the Hebrew language. What's the Hebrew language? Paleo-Hebrew script is a Nahuatl Semitic language of the Afro-Asianic language family. Historically, it is regarded as one of the spoken languages of the Israelites and their long surviving descendants, the Judeans and Samaritans. It was largely preserved throughout history as the main liturgical language of Judaism since the Second Temple period and Samaritanism. Hebrew is the only Canaanite language, remember that, still spoken today and serves as the only truly successful example of a dead language that has been revived. It is also one of the only two Northwest Semitic languages still in use, with the other being Aramaic. See, it got revived around 1920 by a Caucasian. See, when you got Caucasian people taking on Judaism, they converting to it, they still converting to a Negro religion. To be Hebrew, you got to be black, a Negro. That's why I say Afro-Asianic. They say Asianic because the Arabian Peninsula, they trying to say is part of Asia, which is made up. Egypt birth, birthed uh, uh, Arabs. The mother the mother is, is a black Egyptian, Hagar. Abraham was Hebrew. Hebrew was to be a Negro. That's why I was always referring to Afro, right? So what's a Canaanite language? Canaanite languages. Canaanite dialect are one of the three subgroups of the Northwest Semitic languages. The others being Aramaic and Ugaritic all originated in the Levant and Mesopotamia. They are assessed in Canaanite inscriptions throughout the Levant, Mesopotamia, Anatolia, and the East Mediterranean. And after the founding of Carthage by Phoenician colonists, which are Africans, in coastal regions of North Africa and Iberian Peninsula. Also, dialects have been labeled primarily with references to the biblical graphy. Hebrew, Israelites, Judean, Samaritan, Phoenician, Punic, Amorite, Ammonite, Philistine, Moabite, Sutean, and Edomite. The dialects were all mostly intelligible, being no more different in the geographical. See that? All these languages are African languages, the Canaanite languages. Who did Canaan come from? Canaan is Ham's son. Ham is the progenitor of the Africans, the dark races, right? But Shem bring out the Negroes, which are the so-called African-Americans. We're different. You know, they use black as a, as a whole, but we're different. We're not the same. Isaiah 19 and 17. And the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. Everyone that make it mention thereof shall be afraid of himself because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts, which he had determined against it. In the day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan. See that? The language of Canaan in Egypt. And swear unto the Lord of hosts. One shall be called the city of destruction. In that day shall there be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt. And a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord. Because Hebrew Israelites was in Egypt. We were slaves in Egypt like we're slaves in right now. In modern day Babylon and America. It's the same thing. Everywhere Israel went, it thrived because they need Israel. Israel Israelites built the tent, the pyramids. This is why they cannot figure out how did they get built? Who built that? Those was the children of God. People don't say that. They don't talk about Hebrew. They keep clinging to Egypt like Egypt is, is it. If they don't have the, the most high, the most high would destroy it. 
What what did Egypt have over the Most High when everybody want part of the Most High? It don't mean a goddamn thing, nothing. So when you look at Afro-Asianic, right? Right here, all the yellow. The Arabian Peninsula, what they call so-called Middle East, which is made up. That's the Arabian Peninsula. Middle East ain't, ain't biblical. That's made up. Like Europe is made up. That's really Asia. Now you see all in Africa, everybody know this landmass where black people originate from. We come from this landmass. So it's no way around that. The, everybody that come from Europe, Spain, they are all Japheth children. The, the Ashkenazi Jews come out of Japheth. They're not Edomites. Genesis 14, 13. And there came one that escaped and told Abraham the Hebrew, for he dwelt in the plain of Marine, the Amorite, brother of Eshkol, the brother of Anir. And these were the confederate with Abraham. See that? Abraham was the first person called a Hebrew in the Bible, besides Exodus 5 and 3 and 9 and 1, where God said he the God of the Hebrews. See, they don't they take the fact that being a Hebrew is a real ethnic word with saying black or Afro. That's the real ethnic word. That's what we supposed to be using to stand saying black. And that's what I use. I'm not black. I'm not African. I'm a Hebrew. I got that E1 B1 DNA like Abraham. See this? This is a hoplo group, then the DNA that showed that Abraham was the first one that had that E1B1 DNA. Is that's the main DNA that's in most all of us African Americans, so called. We got that E1B1 DNA. Ashkenazi Jews, Spaniards, uh, any Caucasian, because Caucasians come out of Japheth, had an R1B DNA. The R1A, excuse me, that R1A DNA. They don't have an E1B1. The E1B1 is a part of Sub-Saharan Africa. You see where the, the line went down? Abraham passed it down his sea line. And we know Ashkenazi Jews come out of Japheth. They don't, with Javan, his son. That's Genesis 10 and 4. Haplogroup EV38 is a human Y chromosome DNA haplogroup. It is primarily distributed in the Sub-Saharan Africa. EV38 has two basal branches. EM329, formerly E1B1C and E1B1, and EM2, formerly E3A and E1B1A. The EM329 subclad is today almost exclusively found in Ethiopia. EM2 is the predominant subclad in the Western Africa, Central Africa, Southern Africa, and the region of Africa Great Lakes and occurs at only moderate frequencies in some parts of North Africa, West Asia, and Southern Europe. See that? When you look at the, the Y hoplo group E, E1B1B, and E1B1A, you see that? It's all Africa. They put it in this landmass. And we know Spaniards that come from the, the Iberian Peninsula, that's Spain, they come out of Japheth. They had that R1A DNA. They don't have E1B1. We know they come out of Japheth. The only reason why they think they Edomites is because if you go in the book of Jasher, the 90th chapter, Kittim, which is where the Romans and the Greeks come out of, if you strong it, they mix and became one kingdom. Ashkenazi Jews, which is which I'm going to show in a minute, that when they took their DNA, they had an R1A DNA. That come from the Arabian Peninsula and so-called Europe, which is really Asia. It's not Europe. It's made up. They got made up in the 18th century. The Caucasian man make up everything and people go with it. Europe is made up. They came in the 18th century, just like so-called Middle East. They want to take the fact that that's Africa. See, they, they hate to fathom that we are the true descendants. They don't want to get that to us. Like, no, y'all not them. We get it, but we got to fight for that. We know who we are. We can't say we African. I'm not African. I know I'm a Hebrew. It's like African, but not the same. Approximately 300,000 men around the globe self-identify as Ashkenazi Levites, of whom two-thirds were previously shown to descend from a single man. The proximity of whole Y chromosome sequences preclude a conclusion identifying of this ancestral age, geographic origin, and migration patterns. Here we report a variation of 486 Y chromosomes within Ashkenazi and Ashkenazi Levite. R1A, see that? It's not E1B1, they R1A. Other Ashkenazi 
Jewish parental lineages as well as non-Levite Jewish and non-Jewish R1 examples. Cumulatively, the merging profile is of a Middle Eastern ancestry, self-affiliating as Levite and carrying a high resolve R1A Y2619 lineage, which was likely a minor hoplo group among the Hebrews. See that it say it was a minor group among the Hebrews, which is made up. They are they are as converts. They converted to Judaism, so they saying they people, which we know they not. Clearly here it says they had an R1A DNA, and to be a Levite is to be a Negro. You gotta have that E1B1 DNA. So they self they self identifying, making a self that they not ordained. We know this, but that's the mystery. We gotta break through that stronghold that they trying to take our glory. They're not a real Levite. I know they're not a real Le Levite. I know what's, I read in the scripture what God ordained. He's not even dealing with the Levites. The Levites are part of the lost 10 tribes, right? If it was Le Levites amongst the southern tribe, it's a, it's a remnant. It's not the whole nation. The millions, they lost right now. God not dealing with no real ordained Levites today, period. All these ministers are fake and made up. You see this major wide DNA hoplo groups? All the red up top where Spain is, the Iberia Peninsula, right there. That's Japheth, R1, R1B, and then R1A is the yellow. Oh, yeah, that's all Japheth's children. You got the E1B1A right there because that's where we went as slaves, Asia Minor. All that's where Hebrews were at the time. And you see at the bottom where Africa is around the Mediterranean, all that E right there up and over to Israel. Right. We all had that E DNA. Ashkenazi Jews, Sephardic Jews, which we know Sephardic Jews come from Spain. They're not Hebrews. The Hebrew is the real ethnic word for black or Negro. We will replace that and just say we Hebrew. That's our that's our ethnicity. Not nationality. You got ethnicity and nationality. They're different. I got this book right here. The Jew and Negro. This book right here explains that Jews were black. That when we was in our in so-called Egypt, that we were Negro. You won't even find this book no more. I'm glad I got it when I did because this image right here is what they don't want to do. And I got to put this out here. This book, you won't even find it. You'll find it, but it won't have this cover on it. And I love that I got it when I did to be a Hebrew is to be a Negro, and that's what we fighting to do. So all the non-black Hispanics, they're not Israelites, period. Right here in page 7, the Hamites were then an early offshoot in Africa. It is but a step from the Berber and Egyptian to the Sandinese, and from these to the true Negro. All these types are first cousins from Scandinavian all the way to Congo. The original Jews were therefore short, dark people of the long-headed type. The original Jew and Negro were then descendants from the same father. The evidence of intermarrying you mentioned in a universal phenomenon and a close affinity between Hamite and Semite speech and between the Northwest Hamite people and the Semites show close relationship as you surmise. This is another book, Semitic and Hermetic Origins, tracing the Semitic and Hermetic from their cradle land to their diffusion among Egyptians, Arabs, Hebrews, Babylonians, and other groups. The author builds his theory of their relationship by the meticulous investigation of the similarities and differences in word usage, family organization, deities, archaeological records with special references to the Old Testament background. See that? Shemitic, Hemetic. It's Shemitic and Hemetic because it's we similar. Like God said in Exodus 11 and 7, he put a difference between Egyptians and Israel because he know that Hebrews can be mistaken as, as Egyptians. E with that, like, comment, subscribe to keep you updated on my new content when I come with more videos to bring this truth out. Shalom, Israel.